Have you ever been halfway through a project in Cubase and thought, does this structure really work? Well, in Cubase, the Arranger track lets you test, compare, and even export multiple versions of your track, all without touching the main timeline itself. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how. To start, open the Arranger track in Cubase by right-clicking where you want to add the Arranger track and click Add Arranger track. Now we have this grayed out track right here, but we can turn it on like this. And now we're just gonna draw blocks in the arranger track in the timeline for our different sections in the song. So verse, chorus, etc. And now that we've got our Arranger event set up, we're going to drag them into the Arranger chain. We can go the normal song structure like this. And we'll play back the song at the start and you'll see as soon as it gets to the end of section A that we've marked in the Arranger chain, it's going to jump to section B. And we can use the Arranger track like this to test different song structures. Maybe we want to see how it sounds if we go from section two to section three, back to the halfway point of section two, into the bridge, into a little breakdown point, and then back in at the end. As long as we mark everything in the Arranger track, and then we lay it out in the Arranger chain how we want to test it, the sky's the limit. You can test as many different song structures as your imagination can come up with. Let's see how this one sounds. We'll start at the end of B. and it'll jump straight to C. We'll skip forward. And instead of hitting in the big section at the end, it's gonna go back to the midway point at D. Let's remove this one. What if we want to go from E and maybe we want an even more of a drop? Let's go back to the opening hit right at the start and then we'll come back into the bit at the end. Right now we're on E. Straight to F at the end. And if you found an alternate structure like this that you really like, come in and rename the arranger chain. Let's just call this new structure one. If I want a separate arranger chain of just that end test, I can also come in here and create a new chain, arranger chain two. Let's do what we did again. We started at E, we went to A, and then we went back to F. And now, cool, so I can rename this, end part, end part new. And you can always just swap back and forth between these structures, either in the project window right here, or you can do it here on the side. And if you want to go back to just your normal playback system, you can always just turn the arranger track off and then it will work as normal. You've now learned how to set up the Arranger track in Cubase, as well as how to test and compare different versions of your song. 
Now we're going to just tie it into project delivery and I'm going to show you how to export these arranger chains into their own different projects so you have a clean way of delivering alternate versions of your song. So the way we export these arranger chains is by flattening them. We need to come up here into the arranger editor. Before we click flatten chain, we first need to come into settings and we need to make sure a new project is ticked on current project will be its default so if you go to flatten the chain you won't see a new project pop up so come into settings change current to new project and we'll select the arranger chain that we want to export I want to export this end part new so this will export the whole E section and then the A section and then the F section but when we export it it will have all the audio in a nicely arranged timeline click flatten chain yes we want to activate and now we have a brand new project of our arrangement. We do have the original still here, still with the arrangement tracks there, but it's currently not activated. But as we can see, if we play, remember we went from E into A and then back to F. We'll have a little play. So with the Arranger track, you can experiment freely, compare complete versions, and have a clean way of delivering alternate mixes for your songs, all from a single Cubase project. If you'd like to level up your workflow even more for free, I've got a full playlist here on this channel about Cubase creative workflow hacks. I'll include a link in the description below, and I'll also include it on the end screen of this video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.